right, welcome to the first of our pet crew volunteer interviews. Today we are talking with Karen O'Connor, canine care assistant and enrichment committee chair at the shelter. Karen, tell us a little bit about what you do here. I walk the dogs and I pick up donations at some of the local businesses in the area and I also train some of the new volunteer staff and I'm part of the enrichment program uh, committee new program that Danny recently started and just overall animal lover. Excellent. Um, what made you decide to volunteer at the Animal Rescue League of New Hampshire North? It uh, was actually an ad that I saw in the newspaper looking for volunteers for the annual fundraiser for dog or bark in the park is what it's called and uh, Danny was looking for volunteers so I had been contemplating picking the phone up, calling and uh, volunteering for a few months and seeing that ad in the paper, it just it made me do it. I just picked the phone up, called Danny and got my my foot in the door and it's that's all it took. Great. Um, do you ha did you have any reservations initially about volunteering here? I did. It was mainly my mental state of mind and the emotional attachment that I would have with the animals. Uh, my husband said, Karen, don't bring any of the dogs <laughs> home. And I, I'm just such a big softy when it comes to animals. And that was my biggest concern was that I would want to bring them all home with me. And I did overcome that obstacle. We're having a little technical difficulty. It's called a cat playing in our <laughs> camera holder. So, <laughs> so gotta love them. Absolutely. And so that that was my biggest uh, concern about doing any of the volunteer work was that it was it was just my emotional state of being. Mm, and, absolutely. Uh, but I did overcome it, and I am able to go home at the end of the day and not bring animal free, the, right? Yes, animal free. <laughs> But uh, I have fostered a couple of the dogs at home and absolutely love that. I enjoy spending time with them in the home environment. Uh, they're so different than they are in the shelter, mm -hmm. some of them anyway, um, the ones especially that have been here for a while. Mm -hmm. Getting them out of the shelter and bringing them into a home environment is so, so good for them, and I, I enjoy it. My husband has even enjoyed it, and you get to know them, the little dogs, so much better. Mm -hmm. And then that, that gives the shelter more information about that particular animal and uh, makes them more adoptable as well. Because the, there's been a, a couple that, that have been here a little longer than they need to be. And so having that type of, of home interaction with, with the dog has been, been excellent. And that dog, one of them has been adopted within a couple of weeks after, after that experience. Yay. And uh, the other one's had surgery, so sh hopefully she'll be getting adopted shortly after she recovers too. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. you talked a little bit about the enjoyment that you get out of having an animal in your own home, which is part of our foster care program that mm -hmm. we're always looking for volunteers for as well. But other than that, what do you enjoy most about volunteering here at the shelter? Well, I think what I enjoy the most is the time that I, that I spend with the animals. Uh, I, I enjoy walking the dogs. Um, that's that's my, my most enjoyable thing. I get to go out with them and spend as much time with them as I want individually. I take them on a walk. I spend time with them in the dog park out back, playing ball with them, fetch with them. Uh, some of them, with all the snow that we've had, I play snowball catch with them. Mm -hmm. and they absolutely love any anything that, that you can do for them. They love it. And I enjoy it. I, it's very rewarding for me. I, and I love it. I can't say that <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> um, so if someone's thinking about volunteering here, they're not quite sure, they don't know about the commitment or maybe, again, the emotional aspect of things um, or their experience even, mm -hmm. what advice would you give them if they're considering volunteering here? I, I would have to say just pick up the phone and call Danny. Just do it. Uh, it's the best thing that you could do for yourself and the animals. Uh, any amount of time that you can spend volunteering at the, the shelter is is very, very appreciated mm -hmm. uh, from the staff and the animals as well. And just pick up the phone. Just do it. Excellent. Thank you so much, Karen, for your time. And thank you, everybody, for watching the first of many uh, of our pet crew volunteer interviews.